All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays back from our Dragon Balls Universe 2. So today, guys, we're trying out another mod pack. This is going to be fucking exciting as hell. I am ready. Are you guys ready for Android number 21 from Dragon Ball Fighters, my friends? Yes, she is in the game. Big shout outs to Arcano for creating this mod. He did a really nice job on it. I haven't seen a model like this that was so on point to Android 21's design as this one is. It looks fucking immaculate. She's got the red and blue checkerboard pattern i guess weird dress thing or whatever she's got the long sleeves going on there with her weird like gauntlets and we got the pantyhose we got the fucking boots man she's on point this is it so if you guys saw yesterday a ton of content was released on dragon ball fighters we got the confirmation and official gameplay footage of andrew 21 in her majin state yes if it's a spoiler at this point it's not really seriously it's been released it's been publicly known since like last week but I digress, I'm not even going to get into the spoiler issue that I was having on my other videos, but uh, before we get started my friends, do me a huge favor and hit that like button, let's try to reach 15 likes on this video, that would be amazing, I'd really appreciate a pleasure that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content on this channel, as well as amazing crossovers like this with other games like Dragon Ball Fighters, which again, they're two completely different games my friends, this is the model of what she would look like in Xenoverse. So we also have the lab coat design. And of course, I cannot forget the best part. The motherfucking dinner snack. Oh shit, dinner snack? Is that even a thing? I mean, she's a snack, but she could be a full course meal at this point. Look at that. And her tail moves and everything. Yes, Majin 21. Uh, we're just going to dub it that name for now. There was never uh, like an official name given to this character just yet. They just, you know, dubbed her as Andrew 21. She eats a piece of candy or like, I think it's like a macaroon or something like that, and she transforms, so it's like a sort of mutation that she gets, and it allows her to fight a lot better, and you know, actually put in the work and beat that ass into the ground, so this looks fucking so good, oh my goodness, dude, like, she she knows where the good shit is, <laughs> so for the movesets, we got the meteor crash, explosive grip, endless shoot, max charge, full power, death ball, infernal explosion, the rolling bullet and the super soul you must die by my hand this one has the full power energy wave and I guess explosive assault and this one right here has got a full-on move set very nice candy beam majin cannon solar flare max charge full power energy wave the teleporting vanishing ball angry shout and <laughs> i guess from kid boo i would assume so <laughs> so we're gonna try out the uh original one with the dress and we're going to go against, uh, I want to say Android 16, just because, you know, they first kind of, like, meet up. They're, uh, they're homies, you know, in this entire, I guess, arc story mode or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what the story mode has in, like, store for us. We're going to have to find out for ourselves. but just from the trailers, just from the info given, these two seem to be teaming up a lot throughout the entire series, so... I don't know exactly what's happening, guys. I'm just going to make that note right now. I don't own the game. I have no idea. <laughs> Yes, my boys, this is the Android 21. She's in the fucking game, and the model looks amazing. So I would assume this is over either Toa or Android, uh, probably 18. I think it's over Toa, just because of her overall physique and her voice. There's one, I guess, quote that she's like, I need to get out and get some exercise or some shit like that. I'm pretty sure that was Toa. She, for whatever reason, says that. I mean, she, she don't need to get exercise. To both Toa and Android 21, they don't need that shit, dude. They're perfect, man. They're perfect as fuck. Shit. <laughs> All right, let's draw this infernal explosion taken straight from my boy, Android 16. You see you see that amazing damage? Did you see how much damage that did? It did so much damage that it didn't even touch his ass. What the hell was that? All right, let's see if we can actually get it on him. Where did he go? He's like all the way over there. Yeah, this move sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's actually kind of ass. Or I just suck at this game. I know, I know, I know. I thought I was supposed to, you know, get it from, like, the bottom. Is that even possible? Can you use this move, and whenever it bursts from the ground up, does it actually hit them? Does it do damage? I don't know. I've never tried it. You guys let me know in the comment section. You guys are the Xenoverse 2 whizzes and everything. But we got that full power death ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> she does a ridiculous amount of damage. All right, let's go for that endless shoot. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, endless shoot my ass. It just stopped right there. Here, I'm, tr I'm trying to press it some more. It's not working, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, Explosive Grip is actually really dope. Oh, my God, fuck you. Yes. Look at that model. I want you to look at the model up in the corner, just her overall, like, design. It looks so good. Like, Arcano, he's the homie. He knows what's up. He did an amazing job on this mod. If you guys haven't already checked him out, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. 
Follow him on Patreon, Twitter, wherever you can. Like, this guy needs all the love that you can give him. He is amazing. He did such a good job with this. It looks so dope. Like, holy crap. It's not even a full week. I think we got the reveal on, like, Thursday, last Thursday or something like that. Or even, like, Wednesday. Tuesday right now, dude. This is insane. Heard to get in this fucking character. Oh, shit. That would have been dope if I could. Here I come. Get that grab. Boy, it's time. All right, let's go for a full-on grab and maybe finish it off with a nice ultimate and then we'll switch over to the lab coat design Ooh, oh shit all right so let's go ahead and put on that lab coat get scientific so yes i really do like the integration of the lab coat as well it's pretty significant in this i guess entire arc with the story mode and everything that she's wearing this it's got the red ribbon symbol on it too which is pretty sick but yes this is Android 21, the science woman. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. Bill Nye, the science guy. Shout out to that shit. Was that not the shit back in the day? When you guys were chilling in, like, school and everything. You're like, all right, I'm in elementary school. You move up to, like, middle school. All right, I still like it. You move up to high school. You're like, this is my shit right here. Yo, I would watch that shit right now. Like, on YouTube. Like, some days I'd be, like, just hitting it up on YouTube. Be like, Bill Nye, the science guy. Straight up. That's my boy. And the dude's actually, like, a fucking genius. Like, the guy is the homie. So... We're going to try and go for a couple of these ultimates here that we haven't shown off. We got the full power energy wave. Boom! Remember that one from Tenkaichi? It was like full power energy wave blast volley. And that was like an auto combo or some shit. Oh my god, explosive assault. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. But yeah, it's weird uh, to see her actually fighting right now, like in this form. Because you actually don't see her fight in her base form. Just basic Android 21. She's only in the Majin form whenever you play as her or you fight her in the game. So, this is a little bit odd, but man, this is amazing just seeing this character and how immaculate and beautiful it is in this game right now. Like, in Xenoverse 2, we will probably never get DLC of this character. Like, I'm being completely honest. Like, ever. But, I mean, we're getting at least Jiren, Super Saiyan God Blue. You guys saw the screenshots? You guys saw the news? Like, come on, man. Tell me. Press 1 in the chat. Tell, you know, if you made it this far, tell me. Right now in the freaking comment section. Just type in blue just type in blue because i know you guys are excited for super saiyan blue i'm excited for it too all right let's go ahead and finish this off in the rolling bullet let's do that explosive assault again because it looks so damn dope boom I'm super 17 is he a good boy or is he a bad boy because he's super super 17 get it because he's from dragon ball super i don't fucking know but yeah we gotta show off the true ultimate power of the snack Ooh, girl look at this beauty what the fuck dude is that just fucking crazy how much people love this character and then they loved her even more whenever she got this transformation. People were shitting bricks. They were like, bro, she is thickness. She is the divine goddess of thickness. Like, <laughs> I just find it hilarious. But, yeah, she's got the Majin Cannon, which is an actual prominent fucking move that she uses in the game, which is like a stolen Kamehameha or Majin Kamehameha. She got the candy beam, and she goes and she eats that shit, so we gotta eat it. Let's eat it. Hey, eat that shit. <laughs> And then we got Solar Flare from Krillin. Man, Arcano thought of everything. He looked at the overall moveset and design of this character and did it, my friends. There's only one thing that is missing, and I don't think she has it at all, which is the blade from my boy Rose Goku Black. But it's all good in the hood because you can always, you know, go in there and manipulate the skills yourself if you want to. That's the best thing about X2M and Eternity's mods and everything. Just beautiful stuff. So shout out to both Eternity and and Arcano for making all this possible, man. Like, seriously, Arcano, if you're watching this video right now, bro, I love you. I fucking love you, man. Like, seriously, you're just, like, the homie. You came through, and you made a beautiful mod like this. Like, it makes me want to cry. Like, I'm actually tearing up right now. Like, this is it. It's like somebody died. Like, this is crazy. Android 18, get fucked. <laughs> that teleporting vanishing ball. All right, full power energy wave. Just a classic, a nice, clean, big-ass beam of energy. Because I'm telling you, man, we're trying to get those macaroons. Trying to get some freaking cake, some candy. This is beautiful. But yeah, uh, again, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is she going to be like a fusion of all the villains somehow? I don't know, dude. We're, we're going to have to see. Like, I know it's not like really a fusion, but like that transformation, she integrates all of the basic movesets, design cells potentially from other characters into that one piece of the macaroon. And she just transforms. Maybe she's got some Frieza in her. Majin Buu, obviously. And, you know, she's an android, so she definitely has some cell traits and everything, so... An angry shout! God, this looks so good. And her boots and everything, man. Oh, my goodness, the model. Just looking at the character display up in the corner right there, it just looks fantastic. Finish it off with a teleporting Vanisha Ball, bitch! <laughs> 
Oh lord, dude, I'm having a great time with this. Very excited, very excited for Dragon Ball Fighters. So there you have it. There's a full basic showcase of Android 21 throughout the lab coat design, basic design, and the Majin design. Let's go in the verses. Alright, so Android 21 in her Majin state is definitely going to go up against my boy Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Feel like this is just a revolutionary match, something that would be pretty dope. We're gonna go to the tournament power. Don't ask me why. I just feel like going here, but yes, in all seriousness, my friends, this is it. This is time. The final battle. And this could potentially be the final battle in actually like Dragon Ball Fighters, the actual game. Because in the story mode, I would assume that Goku and this character, you know, the new character, Majin Andrew 21, she would have to have a lot of interaction with Goku. Goku's the main character of Dragon Ball Z. Pretty sure he's gonna be one of the main characters in this fucking game as well. I mean, it's only, you know, natural that it is. But yes, I have no idea what this story has in store for us. I'm very excited what the overall, like, just arc, this weird arc is. <laughs> like, when does it take place? I think it takes place during or after the Resurrection F or something like that. It's gotta be because, you know, Goten and Trunks, they're still chilling and everything. And, you know, the Ginyu Force, they come back. Everyone gets, like, resurrected and shit. But it's cool to know that they're all going to interact like a ton like a shit ton have their own dialogue and everything with one another and you know like gotenks i think i saw like one little preview or like a screenshot where gotenks is talking with the ginyu force and it's just it's just too perfect man it's just too perfect because you never got to see those characters meet in the actual anime so this is like your chance this is your chance my friends like you can actually see them do their poses and dances and everything it's great it's fucking immaculate finish it off come on do that Majin Kamehameha wave. I like how it's called Majin Cannon. It's like a Gallic Cannon, but Majin style. Let's get it. But she does the Kamehameha shit. Are you freaking serious with this? Goku. Fuck out of here, boy. Dude, he is annoying as fuck. Okay, you know what? This is it. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. We're just gonna guard? Watch this shit. I got this. Watch it. Watch my boys. Oh. Oh, come on. Can I do it? Okay, don't watch me, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I was like, yo, I was getting all hyped up and shit. Like, oh yeah, I got this shit. Come on, dude. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm so far away from him. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. There we go. Try to go for like a guard into grab, but I suck ass at this game. But who cares? We got fin we finished it off with a Majin Kamehameha. So, there you have it, my friends. Andrew 21. She's amazing. She is truly awesome, and I'm so glad we got a mod of this. Again, please, please, please check out Arcano. He did an amazing, fantastic, phenomenal job on this. Like, I'm blown away. I'm blown away about how good this looks, and he's just amazing. Like, this is crazy, dude. I don't know. No more words. I, I have nothing else to say. I'm dying. My freaking brain is just exterminated, but that's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys want to see more mod showcases, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content as well as Dragon Ball Fighters content this Friday where I will be playing through the story and just chilling with you guys. It'll be a blast. So, talk to you in the next one. Take care.